This war is in its decisive phase and by the grace of God we are winning the battle for a genuine democracy, freedom and rule of law. Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been arbitrarily detained for 426 days, has called for a peaceful protest against the unconstitutional amendments that the illegitimate regime is trying to impose upon Pakistan, which would significantly curb basic freedoms and rights of the citizens. In his message to his nation, Imran Khan said that he is ready to sacrifice his life for this movement for Pakistan's genuine freedom, democracy and rule of law. He vowed that he will never leave his people and his country. Mr. Khan urged the nation not to be afraid of any kind of sacrifice for the country's freedom. Imran Khan pointed out that democracy and the rule of law have ceased to exist in Pakistan and the citizens would have to put up a strong fight for their restoration. He urged the people of Pakistan to reach Dechok in Islamabad on Friday the 4th of October for a peaceful protest. Meanwhile, he asked residents of Lahore and its surrounding districts to prepare for a protest at Minare Pakistan on Saturday the 5th of October. Tens of thousands protest in Islamabad despite extreme state brutality. The fascist regime in Pakistan, backed by the country's powerful military establishment, have blocked all cell phone services, roads, highways and throttled the internet in the country ahead of Pakistan Tariq Saf's protest in Islamabad. The Interior Ministry laid nails across the highway as well as dug up the motorway to dissuade the people of Pakistan from exercising their constitutional right to protest peacefully. International media is reporting on the fascist mindset of Pakistan's illegitimate government who have blocked roads, shut down schools, turned off cell phone service, shut down offices and shops just to prevent a peaceful protest that threatens to expose their mandate theft and attacks on Pakistan's democracy. Despite oppression, tear gas, rubber bullets and in some cases even live ammunition fired on the unarmed public, tens of thousands of Pakistanis headed from Khibr Pakhtunkhwa, Rawal Pindi and surrounding areas area to Islamabad at the call of Prime Minister Imran Khan to protest the imposed regime set to make unconstitutional changes in their bid to turn Pakistan into a constitutional autocracy. Among the hundreds of unarmed, peaceful protesters arrested by the Pakistan's tyrannical forces are Imran Khan's sisters Alima and Uzma Khan. This is a developing story as thousands stand their ground against state brutality and oppression and the protest continues late into the night.